Hello everyone, Derived Energy here. Um, I'm going to make this video called Teaching Pyro about the birds and the bees and I think this video is really necessary and this is one of his um, countless arguments against antinatalism and uh, I'm, I'm just going to make this, this video featured on this one point that he makes in his video because I find it very disturbing that this man who's actually had children doesn't seem to understand what procreation is I mean I find this I find this fascinating you know the, the human insanity this is really insane you fascinate me Pyro okay let's let's I'm an antinatalist okay so let, let's define what I'm against okay I'm against procreation what is procreation because you don't seem to have a clue okay I've got some definitions here of procreation okay procreation this is from B dictionary okay online noun the sexual activity of conceiving and bearing offspring okay so you just don't get this you don't understand that procreation is a process of not only conceiving and a woman being pregnant but it's also her bearing offspring and uh, let's define what we mean by bear to bear to bring forth young to give birth to to bear a child to produce to yield um, okay um, procreation reproduce bear children create generate multiply, proliferate, propagate, breed, beget, have offspring or produce more individuals of a given animal or plant, to beget and conceive offspring, to produce or create. Um, reproduction or procreation is the biological process by which new offspring individual organisms individual organisms are produced from their parents reproduction is a fundamental feature of all known life each individual organism exists as the result of reproduction okay so let's listen to what you said about what you think procreation is Okay, so let's give you a lesson. Let's teach you about the birds and the bees, Pyro, okay? So, procreation is the sexual activity of conceiving and bearing offspring. Okay, this is what happens when a baby is conceived. You've got the male sperm here, okay? And that fertilizes a female egg, okay? And if that fertilization is successful, a woman becomes pregnant, or up the duff, as we say in British colloquial slang. Okay, and this is a picture of a pregnant woman, okay? So you've got a woman, and inside her belly, inside her womb, you've got a growing fetus, okay? Now, are there two people here, or one person? It's a grey area. It's a grey area. I'm willing to grant that. But unfortunately for you, procreation is not only the sexual activity of conceiving offspring, it's also um, the, the, the sexual activity of bearing offspring. Okay, So a woman is, is, is pregnant for approximately nine months. 
and we could have a philosophical discussion about whether there are two people here or only one although mothers often say things like oh I'm, I'm very hungry these deep days I'm, I'm eating for two but I'm not going to use that you know as a as a demonstration that there are two people here because I can see the ambiguities of saying there are two people here because it's a grey area okay but it's not relevant to this conversation okay so the woman is pregnant for nine months and then at the end of nine months she goes through a process of giving birth and here's a woman and presumably uh, fa the father and uh, she seems like she's about to give birth there she is about to give birth okay she's in the hospital okay so then she goes through an often painful experience and she produces a baby okay and this is this is what you call bearing offspring which is a part of procreation because it's not only a part of uh, procreation isn't just conceiving and bearing to term a baby it's also um, actually bearing the baby producing the baby so how many people are here how many people are here please tell me how many is it two are there two people here or is there just one person here two or one